Be careful pulling for Kane. He will not make the rift super easy. You still will need a ton of debuffs. And there's a lot of units that can fulfill his damage spot, like Milam, like Mercedes, that you might already have. What's going on, y'all? And welcome back to another Epic 7 video. Kane's release is finally here, so let's go ahead and do our honest review. If you guys notice, this is coming out sooner than later. Normally, I wait till I pull on stream later in the day after I wake up, but I wanted to stay up and test them, and I'm glad I did because I want to catch a lot of y'all before you end up summoning. Now, if you do go ahead and decide to summon before watching this video, go ahead and let me know how your summons went, but this is a big part of it and why I'm going to tie this all together real fast. I ended up full pitying Kane. So 600 plus bookmarks, and I had to powder his artifact Tyrant's Descent as well, and so it was a real feels bad moment. I had spent a ton of resources, and after testing him, I have to think that a lot of you guys may not need him, and I think overall Smilegate's design, there's a lot of things that make him feel bad, and don't get me wrong, he did improve my early Rift team. Um... So for that, and the fact that he looks great, his animations I love, I think we don't have a character that looks like this, I'm glad I did end up using him, but I think a lot of y'all that don't have as many resources as I do should probably skip, and I'll tell you all of that why here in just a minute. So please let me know how your summons go. I do implore and encourage you guys to maybe hold off on summoning for him just yet, wait to see for a few things here. In terms of testing, if Smilegate decides to maybe give him a slight buff here and there, I don't know if they will. But there's a lot of things, I think, in terms of Rift that is so new that I think a lot of y'all should be saving your bookmarks. Because if you do end up pitying, it's going to feel really bad, at least for me. Uh, I, I'm a veteran player. I don't need a lot of the collab units that are upcoming. Any of the limited triple banner, all that stuff, I'm okay. I'll be able to recoup these resources. As you can see, I have some Skystones left. But um, yeah, for a lot of y'all that may be on the fence that don't have a lot of stuff... Watch the full video, hear my full thoughts, and then decide after. But if you do end up summoning, if you already summoned, let me know how your pulls go. I wish you the best of luck. A lot of my guildies, as always, pulled him in one tap, one ten pull, and his artifact, but I was not that lucky. So we're down quite a bit of resources. 600 bookmarks down the drain. Now let's talk about his build real fast. This is your typical PvE build, and take note of the speed, guys. This is I have been testing and changing a lot of stuff up for Rift, and a lot of that is going to be dependent on how you build your cane. Um, if you are running Mascot Hazel, especially in the front row, and you're using Idol's Cheer, that's going to let you guys use your cane to be much slower. As you can see on my build, I have zero speed attack boots, but that's only if you're running the frontline Mascot Hazel build. If you guys are not going to run that, you do want him on higher speed, and that's also going to help you with applying more bleed. He'll, he'll take more turns, and after his skill 3... Um, he's going to be able to apply more bleeds and do more hammer time. Still love that skill name. A little bit silly. But other than that, guys, a basic PvE build here. We are going on Rage Torrent. Try to off, uh, maximize his offense. And, of course, he doesn't need effectiveness because he does ignore effect resist when he's enraged. Now, the only thing I need to fix up is the crit chance. Missing 8% is actually way more than I want. Um, but I'm out of mod gems, and this is kind of the best I can do for now, at least for Rage and Torrent. But I'll fix that up as things go along. In terms of skill enhancements, you guys might have noticed I am on Grace of Growth. And I highly suggest most of y'all watching do this as well, at least right now while we're testing him and seeing how good he actually is. Uh, that's going to let you also just remove the Grace of Growth once the rotational period ends for the fire mode. Remember, Rift is a permanent feature. But but it will rotate out and next time it's going to be a different element so we may not need cane and we can drop the grace of growth later down the line i'm running out of mola i'm running out of catalyst so i highly suggest you guys use this as well if you don't max out the skill one i am missing out a little bit here um, but that's okay for me skill three as well for the damage and skill two i don't think you'll ever need i'm going to test out cane in the front line as maybe a tank build uh for four dps setup but i don't even think the six turns will save him uh we'll have to see maybe maybe down the line it might be worth it but for now save skip on this but really just grace of growth in terms of artifacts timers ascent is obviously great for him if you do end up picking it up i had to get it with powder but hopefully you guys are lucky and you're able to get this if you do have enough debuffs on your team which you should especially if you use units like haste and Surin, you'll be able to max out usually the amount of debuffs to get the maximum damage and it really adds up uh, other artifact suggestions from from me might be um jacko's artifact i'll put it up on the screen which is actually gives some free stats in terms of effectiveness and a little bit more consistent if you don't have as much debuffs uh it doesn't hit the top end quite as much but the, just the fact that you have a debuff present will make it a little bit more consistent potentially so try out those two if anyone has any other artifact suggestions please leave them in the comments below here we go the rift team full setup hazel in the front line on idols cheer like i mentioned to boost up the slower speed cane on full damage and then we have the two premier 
uh, debuffers here, Haste and Hazel, uh, excuse me, Haste and Cern, who work beautifully and also very synergistic with Kane and his uh, artifact on top of that. So this team, I think, is very, very good. If you guys are able to uh, have these four units, you're going to do wonderfully here, even at lower Rift levels, which brings me to my next topic. Rift right now is a no man's land where very few people have really invested to get like max level Rift controller. It's such a energy heavy mode that a lot of people are still just testing things out, have kind of been taking things slow. And for me personally, I've been waiting to get my pet. And unfortunately, guys, as you can see here, I still haven't finished my full pet yet. I did use Loyal Dog Kyla. I have two S rank skills for Rift, but I'm missing that last pet skill. So if you didn't watch my last video, guys, make sure you check it out in terms of I have a little bit of a pet guide or pet synergy at the end to try and fish for those extra pet skills. But until Smilegate adds some quality of life, look how many S ranks I have. I've been fishing. I just can't really finish it. So I've been hesitant to dump so much energy. But this video is not about pets. I just my heart goes out to you guys if you're also waiting. I do consider myself a little bit lucky to get these two S ranks, but the last one for the uh, extra, the one I want last is the extra equipment. I'm still waiting on that, so that's I'm not going to finish this pet until then. But I will be leveling up my Rift, and I wanted to talk about that real fast here. Uh, Kane may end up being best in slot once you get very high Rift controller. There's some uh, effects here, namely this one, the Dimensional Fragment of Fortification, where after the hero in the back row uses an extra attack, Recovers health of all allies. I think things like this will make Kane feel so much better. And that'll be unlocked later in the Rift levels. But for those of you that are newer that are watching, and I don't necessarily mean new players trying this mode out because this is an end game mode. But for anyone that kind of is just getting into this, look at my Rift controller level. I haven't been investing too much. And Kane right now wasn't quite the savior that I was hoping to be. The fact that Smilegate made a character specifically made for Rift. He was tailor-made for Rift. He was shown in the preview video to be used there, but he ends up not being super... He doesn't end up being very good for a few reasons, namely in his kit. He was missing a lot of debuffs, so you will have to run him alongside the likes of Haste and Surin, or if you guys are using other units, whatever's working for you. But the fact that his S1 is the only thing that provides a debuff, and let alone just one, makes him already tough to run, especially com comboing him with other DPS, which you're probably going to want to run higher damage uh, in the long run to get those one-shots down for the eventual Rift mode. But beyond that, I do think Smallgate just kind of missed the mark overall in terms of Rift and Kane for such an awesome-looking character. And I know a lot of you guys look at his idle animation here are gonna pull for him just for looks i was hoping he would do a little bit more especially when you're in the lower rift levels the fact that he might need level 15 or higher to just make him look really good to be best in slot sounds very very like it sounds like a, a miss from small game to the long run where rift is kind of just a tedious mode where you have to invest so much energy and levels a lot of players aren't gonna want to pull for this and it's just it, the more and more i look at this mode it just seems harder and harder for players to really get on board uh, for anyone that is making kane look impressive they probably have maxed out rift controllers and you probably use a lot of different units and at that point it's really just the rich get richer in terms of just rift synergy so those of you watching last thing i want to hammer this home and that's no pun intended on a skill one hammer time be careful pulling for Kane. He will not make the Rift super easy. You still will need a ton of debuffs. And there's a lot of units that can fulfill his damage spot, like Milam, like Mercedes, that you might already have and can just use instead. But if you do like him for his looks, like me, go ahead and pull him. He is made for this mode. He will do some sick damage. Just be careful. He's not quite as good as I was hoping uh, Smilegate would make him. All right, guys, let's go ahead and wrap up this first impression video for Kane. I'll give my closing thoughts on Rift, Kane as a whole, what it means for you guys watching, how I feel about Rift in general. And while I do so, I'll show my updated stats on the screen for my newer team. Remember, these are all constantly adjusting, changing as I'm trying new things out, experimenting, figuring out what works best for Kane. Maybe I'll replace him out later, but I'll go ahead and give you guys the team that's working for me right now. Um, overall, I think Rift in general will end up being, if the numbers are correct, the premier endgame mode. I might have mentioned that previous or somewhere uh, in this video, but for the late game endgame min-max players, it might end up being like a Hunt 14, meaning it will be the way to get gear in the long run. But it's such a grind. It's such a no man's land right now with what you can use, what you can't use, what you have available, how much should you invest in pets, Molagora. So many people just aren't going to be able to do this for now. You don't really need to sweat it at the moment. Let other people like myself waste resources and test for you and just chill out for a little bit. As long as you end up getting the seasonal reward, at least the stuff you want, 
which by the way guys this is also pretty grindy too so don't wait too long just always have in the back of your mind that if you do want to get all the rewards that you know you you will have to dump a ton of energy eventually but there's still no rush it's a permanent mode but this fire rift will be rotating out so kane in general i don't see him as a must-have ever unless you really really like him and unless you are my probably 0.1% of viewers that are already super end game that really maybe want to bet that he's going to be best in slot once you reach higher rift controller levels, maybe in a 4 DPS setup, maybe in terms of the rift controller buff that I showed you guys here, the dimensional fragment of fortification, whatever it might be. But for everyone else that's watching, the 99% of y'all, you probably don't need Kane. If you're on the fence, go ahead and just save. He's not limited. This is for a PvE only mode where he's still first test. You know, this is just our first test. Doesn't seem like he's a must-have. And just save and just maybe pick him up later. <laughs> but who knows? By the time you pick him up later, the rift, this Rift Fire Mode might be gone. And you won't need him until next year. Who knows what's going to happen? But for now, guys, don't worry too much. If you like him, pull for him. If you don't, you won't be missing out on too much. Just always save. Epic 7 is, is still free-to-play friendly. But the more we progress, the more units come out, the more collabs. You do need to really pick and choose what units you can summon for the more free-to-play you are, okay? So last thing again, just save for the end of the year. We're about to get hit with so many collabs. I would bet on it. But uh, I'll hopefully be able to guide you guys as such when we get to it. So thank you so much, as always, for watching. Good luck on your pulls if you do decide to summon for Kane. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.